Edwin is a doxing groomer. Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable. Today, we got the homeboy Super Dave. We all know him from Twitter, the Twitter villain, the heel that doesn't want to be a heel, the baby face that doesn't want to be a baby face, the motherfucker can't seem to get the storyline straight, the WWE narcissist himself, Super Dave, is here, he's on the way, he's about to explain to us. Doxing people, grooming people, inside the Edwin Discord. This is the first time I ever heard of anything like this, by the way. They had a secret channel. A secret channel just for our boy, Milltown's Best. Do I believe it? Maybe. Maybe I do. Logically speaking, I don't think this is real, but it could be a hit piece. It might be. It just might be. Edwin seems like the kind of cuck to do that shit. Listen, we all know homie was riding cuck chair shotgun to the Salvo foot fetish playground. We all know what happened with that situation. The situation's done. I'm tired of talking to Edwin. I'm t or, excuse me. I'm tired of talking about Edwin. Tired of talking about Dave. I'm fucking out of here. Fuck this. I just remember that when I met Dove um, in a voice uh, VC one day, um, Dove had told me that on the Edwin server, there used to be a private forum uh, with my name on it. And they were like A-logging me before I even knew who they were. So I was like, whoa. And then part of me was kind of like flattered. Like, are these guys fans or do they have malicious intent? I didn't know. I chose to go with the first part. It was these guys just like me. Um, but that was one of the red flags that really first got me like, whoa, these people are really like serious about. They were serious about pursuing me to get me. Um, from what I understand is Dub said that Edwin was interested in grooming me. And uh, Edwin had shared those sayings you know he was joke i take it in jest of course i knew edwin was joking when he said groom i just didn't like that word choice it felt really odd to me at the time and like i said um part of me was so eager to become a part of this commentary community so when our boy dave says he was eager to join the commentary community the way he phrases it, it sounds like he's talking from outside of the community. Now, that's like something like anti-commentary would say. But even anti-commentary people are commentary people. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have the anti without the T. What the f You don't have the go without the bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like if he wasn't actually commentary, you wouldn't know or be talking about commentary. So why would he be saying like he's outside of commentary looking in? It's like being a part of a group trying to get the outside perspective. The cool retrospective, if you will. Or the, uh, I don't even know. Big fucking words I can't even spell on the download. Where, where is the full video of this? I can't find it anywhere. 